Hi everyone. A very well-placed source told me that an autopsy conducted on the body of Oscar Grant, remember the Oscar Grant who was the victim of the BART shooting incident by Johannes Mejerly, the BART officer on New Year's Day? My source contends that that autopsy revealed that crack cocaine was literally stuffed in the body of Oscar Grant through his buttocks. My source contends that the implications of this finding are that it means that Oscar Grant had reason to be afraid of being arrested and my source contends explains why Oscar Grant was allegedly aggressive in being handled by officers. My source also holds that KTVU television which has been the custodian of many of the videos that have been seen by most of the country and all the Bay Area, arguably, was actually withholding some of these videos to be released at later times to keep the story going and to gain ratings for themselves. In fact, this clip from one of the KTVU telecasts available online essentially supports his assertion. Two new videos surfaced today in the shooting death of a young man New Year's Day at an East Bay BART station by a BART police officer. One witness captured the actual shooting with a cell phone, which you'll see only on Channel 2. Because of the controversial nature of the shooting and the questions surrounding it, KTVU decided to air the video. The video may be key in the case to help shed some light into what happened immediately before the officer fired his gun. The reason why I trust this source is because he told me that KTVU had a video showing another officer, next to Officer Johannes Measurely, beating Oscar Grant, but that KTVU did not want to release that video because they didn't want to incite a riot because they showed a white officer beating a black youngster. Then, two weeks later, KTVU showed that third video. Take a look at these videos that I have, and I'll walk you through what my source contends. This is another version of the video that my source referred to. In it, the person that is directly in front of you with what appears to be a bald head is actually standing in front of Oscar Grant. At this point, Officer Measurely is to his right and to our right as well. Now, if you note, Officer Measurely then starts to struggle with Grant as then this officer also kneels down. Look at the officer that was in front of us. He has his knee on the neck of Oscar Grant while Measurely is behind him. And at this point, Measurely begins to pull out his gun right at about this point right here, right now, after he's struggling with him right there, reaches for it, then fires, and then look, they all get up all of a sudden as if to say, oh my God, what happened? Now, my source says that Oscar Grant had aggressive behavior prior to that shooting. Now, there's nothing in that video to back my source's claim that Oscar Grant was actually being aggressive, but it gives you an idea of the kind of attitudes that some people have who are playing key roles in this case attitudes that could lead to the freeing of Officer Johannes Mezerly. What do I mean? My source says that Officer Mezerly will walk, as he put it, in this case. And my source should know. He's been around a lot of cases like this. However, my source's revelation regarding the crack, crack cocaine has to be explored because it leaves more questions than answers. For example, Given the lack of trust of law enforcement in this particular case, could it have been that the crack cocaine was planted within the person, the body of Oscar Grant? How was the body of Oscar Grant handled by whom and when? Those are the two questions that must be answered. And finally, another question has to do with the involvement of KTVU Channel 2, Oakland, San Francisco. They claim that the videos they showed were provided to them exclusively. But the question must be asked, in the editing process, was there any part of those videos that they left out? What other images has the public not seen? And what is KTVU hiding, if anything?